All right, Shalom. Brother Kabai back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rekak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible, who rule well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right. Um, no. The apostles, okay, apostles of heart, you know, has been going in on, 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 we need to prophesy more, man, and it's true, okay, we are in the, uh, the, the, the season, okay, of, 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 always in the season of prophesying, man, okay, which means to tell you before it happens, okay, when you go into our word prophecy, it means to tell you before it happens, man, to prophesy, all right, so, we're going to um, jump into the scriptures and um, let you know some of the things that's uh, prophesied and that's going to happen in the Bible, man. Okay? In these upcoming uh, uh, days that we're living in, the last days of the last days. <coughs> this is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 1. It says, Behold, which means to look, speak thou in the ears of my people. Okay? That word, my, is possessive. Okay, who's the Lord's people? The Israelites. And let's just get a quick precept on that. Okay? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? This is uh, Psalms 147. Um, yeah, I started 19. This is Psalms 147, 19. It says, He show off his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel, because Jacob's name was later changed to Israel. Verse 20, it says, He hath not dealt so with any nation. I'll read that part again. Verse 20, Psalms 147 and 20. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Okay, so the Lord showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments. <clears throat> he hasn't dealt with any other nation. So when it tells you in 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, okay? That my people is the Israelites, man. Jacob, okay? The words of prophecy, which means to tell you before it comes to pass, man. Okay? And that's exactly what we are doing here at Great Millstone, man. What we need to be in the spirit of doing even more, Okay? Yeah, it's cool to bring out, you know, the laws and, you know, uh, you know, things of that nature. But we should be prophesying to our people things that come so our people are able to prepare themselves, man. The elect. It says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. That's why the Bible is faithful and true, man. Okay? The King James Bible 1611 is faithful and true. <clears throat> That's why the Lord told us to seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. And that's talking about prophecy, man. Okay? Here it is. A uh, 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 martial law can break out any day. Okay, here it is. Uh, uh, um, race riots can break out. Okay? They already have the FEMA camp set up. They already have the Mark of the Beast, which is the RFID chip. Okay? All these things are coming to pass, man. They will come to pass. It says, um, Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. So we don't care about what people think about us. We don't care if people don't believe us. Okay? We don't care about that. It says, They speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's right. Verse 5, Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God, okay, and Jesus Christ. That's the name in the Hebrew. It says, I will bring plagues upon the world. So, and this is prophecy right here, man. And here at Great Millstone, we're going to tell you these things before they come to pass, man. Okay, the Lord revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. Going back to Amos, the third chapter. Okay. <coughs> It says, 2 Ezra 15 and 5, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword. And what's that main sword? Esau, Edom, man. Okay? The red Hebrew Edomite, the so-called white man. Okay, he's the sword. He's the whipping stick 
before you how about Shemiah Mashiach. And he's going to come down on people going back to uh, Revelation, the 12th chapter. Okay, because he has a short period of time ruling, man. So this devil's going to let everything out the bag. Okay, these uh, uh, these uh, half men, half robots. Okay, these uh, uh, um, drones that can drop bombs on people, that can shoot people up. Okay, these pestilences, these diseases. Okay. These t uh, uh, martial law uh, troops with these tankers going through the city. Okay. That's what's going to happen. <clears throat> it says, 2 Ezra 15 and 5, it says, famine. So the Lord's bringing a famine, man. For the ones of our people who love to indulge in uh, uh, food. Okay. You, you got that food demon on you. Hey, look, man. The Lord's going to bring a famine. And there's not going to be nothing you can do about it. Okay, the scriptures say that the Lord's men shall eat, man. Okay? And, and, and if you're not part of the elect, you, you, you're finishing that day. But this is something that we're prophesying to you, man. And these videos we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? Once again, which consists of uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Okay? This is who we do these lessons for. For ourselves, too. You know? You know, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. And this, the, look, re, uh, repeating these scriptures, you know, continues to help me stay straight, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. So it says, uh, death and destruction. <clears throat> so to wrap it up, the Lord's bringing death and destruction, man. Okay, the Lord's not bringing peaceful times. Okay? Go back to Matthew's the 10th chapter, chapter, man. You know? The Lord's not bringing peace, but he's bringing division, man. And you know, you, and you and you have <laughs> you have these uh, these false prophets, these false pastors, you know, that are quick to tell you what the Lord's going to do, what the Lord is all about. But believe them not, man. Believe them not, man. And and those men are starting to be known. Your church pastors, these other false Israelite groups, they're starting to be known. This is uh. Jeremiah chapter 14 I'm going to start at uh, 13 it says Then said I Ah Lord power Behold the prophets say unto them Ye shall not see the sword Okay And who Look who, who what, what group is saying that man You know You got IUIC talking about There ain't going to be no Jacob's trouble man You know The music is going to just get beamed up into the uh Into the chariots man I mean, that's contrary to the scriptures, man. When you read Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, it says, um, uh, matter of fact, let me get it real fast. Because the day that's coming is not going to be a day like it, man. Okay? This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. So all the accounts and the events that happen in, 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 in world history is not going to be a day like it, man. Okay, you think 70 AD was something? Okay, when the Jews fled uh, 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 um, 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 Jerusalem, okay, from um, from Roman persecution, you think that was something when they was eating leather belts, eating their children, cannibalism? Okay, you think slavery was something? You think post-slavery was something? Okay, you think the genocide of the natives and the, uh, uh, the Tainos was something, man? No. You think the Great Depression was something? No. You think the Rodney King race rise was something? No. Jeremiah 30 and 7, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble. You Israelites, trouble. And we're prophesying to that, to you that, man. Here at Great Millstone, man. It says, but he shall be saved out of it. And that he is talking about the elect. Okay? So going back to Jeremiah the 13th, uh, 14th chapter, it says, verse 13, then said I, or Ah, Lord power, behold, the prophet say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine. So these false prophets are saying, Look, there ain't gonna be no 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 sword or famine, man. They're saying that these trucks can continue to roll up to these markets. Okay, you're gonna still have your McDonald's, your Burger Kings, okay, you're gonna still have your Wendy's, things of that nature. Okay, that's what these false prophets are saying. All right, it reads on, but I will give you a sure peace in this place. And that's what they say, man. 
You know, starting off with your uh, your Reverend Al Sharptons, your Jesse Jacksons, okay? Your local community leaders. You know, they assure that. Verse 14, then, then the Lord said unto me, the, pro the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I send them not. So the Lord ain't send them men, man. It says, neither have I commended them, commanded them, neither spake unto them. And then what MLK said, you know, all these other false prophets and pastors saying the Lord spoke to them. It says, they prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught. You see? It says, and the deceit of their heart. You know, the seat of their mind, man. They look, that's what they want, man. But we're not gonna tell you that here, Great Millstone. We're gonna prophesy the truth, man. We're gonna tell you things that's gonna, that's gonna come to come to pass, man. You know? Matter of fact, let's go to have a coop. <clears throat> Cause a lot of people, a lot of our people, you know. <coughs> You know, we prophesied to them week in and week out through the spirit and power of your house by Shimei was shot. But they don't believe it. They don't believe it. This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 3. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. The vision is talking about the prophecies. It says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And we're at the end. It's definitely speaking loud and clear, man. These ICBM missiles is being built, which are going to ultimately destroy America. Okay, these other nations are, are, are strong now, man. They have nuclear capability, man. Okay, they have the technology to build these weapons, man. Okay? It says, but the end, but the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, though it may seem like it's taking a while, you know. Though it may seem like it's taking a while, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And that's right, man. That's right. And look, man. <laughs> The prophets before doing the same thing, you know, and the prophets now are doing the same thing, man. You know? We're going to prophesy the words of the Heavenly Father to you, man. Tell you before it happens. This is Isaiah 42 and 9. It says, Behold, the former things are come to pass. Okay, what's some of the former things? World War One, World War Two. Okay. Uh, uh, Ezra going head first in the cargo slave ships and slavery. Okay. The so called white man being raised up by Yahweh Bashim was shot to rule the earth for this time period. Okay. Those things came to pass, man. It says, and new things do I declare. And what are we declaring? Okay. That Israel's next up the rule, man. Okay. Yahweh Shah is going to come back and what you're going to call UFOs. Okay. And, and, and put an end to the rule shit with this Edomite, man. Okay, those are some of the things that we are, 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 are um, uh, uh, proclaiming, man, through the spirit of power you have by Shimei This is uh, Isaiah 42 and 9. It says, Behold, the former things that come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. You see? And that's what we're doing, man. Week in and week out, man. And the scriptures tell us to be instant in season and out of season, man. You know? To let our people know so there won't be no excuse in that day, man. Uh, I could go on. Um, I'll probably grab one more scripture and wrap it up. Um, let's get... Uh, let's get... Let's go to Thessalonians. Because uh, the Lord gave you this gift, man. You know, don't don't hold back. Don't hold back. This is um first Thessalonians uh five and twenty. It says, um, despise not prophesying. Okay, and when we go into our word despise it means to hate, you know. Don't hate it, man. The Lord could have given his truth to anybody, he could have given it to your cousin, your brother, okay, your best friend. Okay, but he, if the Lord gave you this truth, man, okay, and you're not out there on the highways and byways, yeah, you better get out there and start pushing, okay? And if the Lord got you in the camp, hey, look, push harder, man. You know, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. You guys, you know, dive more into these prophecies, man, because Jake is asking questions, you know? 
Matter of fact, I get 19. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 19. Quench not the spirit. Okay? Don't quench the spirit, man. You know? Prophesy, man. Prophesy. Verse 20. The spy is not prophesy, man. Don't hate it. Love it. You got to love this thing, man. You know? So with that, you know, Lord, was at a final lesson through the Spirit and power you have by Shemiel Shai. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, who teach us his truth, according to the Bible, and who rule well. Another shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.